In this lecture, we will learn the basics of Python scripting in Blender. In Blender, we can open up the Python console by pressing Shift F4. This screen may be familiar to you. It is the three greater than symbols that signify a Python console. We can hold down the control button and scroll the mouse wheel forward to zoom in and backward to zoom out. To prove that we can run Python code here, let's print Hello World to the console. When we hit enter, notice that Hello World was printed. Most of this course has been in PyCharm, so I want to take this opportunity to introduce another cool feature of a Python console to you, getting output from expressions without using print. For example, let's type 3 plus 5 and then hit enter. Notice that 8 was printed out. What if we type the string ABC plus the string DEF? When we hit enter, notice the result string ABCDEF was logged. In the Python console, after an expression is run, the output is printed right below the line. This can be very useful when programming and debugging your code. To see all of the scripting tools we have available to us when writing Python code in Blender, we can click the icon on the upper left. Notice there is a scripting section that includes three components, text editor, Python console, and info. We just learned about using the Python console. If we click info, notice that there is a line of code for each action we have performed since we opened Blender. Basically, it is possible to execute any Blender command in Python code as long as you know the code to do it. That makes this info feature an incredibly powerful tool. Imagine spending hours modeling a detailed mesh and then grabbing the Python code from here and running it to recreate the mesh entirely from code. The text editor is more like we are used to in PyCharm, where code is run as a script rather than line by line. We are going to work with the text editor in the next lecture. In the next lecture, we will learn how to use Python code to create objects in Blender.